I, I may be of that fact, that is not a good thing. That is a bad thing. Human progress is being slowed down by the fact that most of the world, the potential of those people to make contributions to progress is limited by their lack of development and, and by their lack of freedom. And the, it would be a great thing for us if, uh, just imagine all the progress there could be and the advance of the human condition there could be if all these people all over the world who are now unable to contribute to progress because of their circumstances were. So at that point you say, well, we're friends with the Chinese. We don't need to go to war over oil or try to wreck their economy or them viewing us try to wreck our economy because this goes both ways, by the way. I mean, these world views become global, okay? Uh, if everyone believes that resources are limited, you have a world in which fundamentally every nation is the enemy of every other nation, every race of every race, uh, and ultimately every person of every person, every new baby born in the world is an, uh, an enemy because it's going to eat something that you want to eat, okay? And the, the, it's a world of hate, and ultimately it's a world of tyranny, it's a world of war. If on the other hand, people understand that wealth is not something that exists in the ground, but something that is created by our minds. Okay? That human beings fundamentally are not destroyers, but creators. Okay? Then every nation is ultimately the friend of every other nation and every race of every race and every new person born into the world is not a threat but a new friend. And this is the mental framework that will determine whether we make the 21st century the greatest era of human progress or a century of hell. Okay? That's the choice before humanity. Our specific role okay, is to use the Mars Project to demonstrate, once again, the virtue of humanity. Thank you. I think I'll close it. If you do have questions of me, I'll be just hanging out in the lobby. Thanks for coming. See you all in Dallas next year.